when I first arrived at the University of Southern Mississippi, I became friends with a fellow by the name of Mac David. Um, Mac is completely blind and has to navigate using a cane and a dog. <coughs> I talked to him at length and asked him many questions about how he's able to navigate in the world and find objects. Uh, later on, I became really good friends with a blind girl on campus by the name of Mitchie. Um, same situation, I ended up asking her a lot of questions as well. And the more time progressed, the more I found that it was strange that we live in a world that has always on computer devices, and yet the blind are stuck with 19th century technology in order to be able to navigate in the world. With this in mind, I set about the initial development in my mind of what is becoming the BAT, the uh, ultrasonic glove. The concept for the glove is simple. It will mount on the back of a user's hand and it will have sensors that get data based on how far away objects are. This will feed back to vibration controls on the wrist and will also have alarms. It will lock on to the nearest thing within range and give feedback to the user when something is in range. This way it extends the reach of blind people on how far away they're able to actually touch objects without them actually having to touch objects. It is amazingly cool and I really, really hope that it can revolutionize how the blind are able to navigate the world. Let me show you how it works. Hey there, this is demonstration of the BAT ultrasonic glove. Uh, here it is right here. What I'm going to do is I am going to completely blindfold myself and I'm going to try navigating with this thing. Uh, wish me luck. Here it goes. Okay, are we ready? Yep. Okay, there's the doorway there. This chair. There's that. Let me go off first. Okay, put me the phone. Okay. You need to move further down. Okay. Just make sure you keep a good distance. Okay, that should be the door window. Oh, that's nice. You guys are close. It's like when I taste buds, it tastes bros. Oh, okay. It's like we all went through some real cool nature experience together, but things didn't get weird. Is the point of this that I'm not in on it? You make your own relationships. You seek out your own peer group, you know? I found mine. Sorry, it's getting kind of hard to breathe. Do hickory flat no sense. And say, who is it? Who is it? Say, guys. This is how you saw it. And that is a demonstration of the Bat Ultrasonic Love for the Blind. Thanks for watching. And there you have it. That is the basic concept of the Bat. Uh, how it will work if they were, say, trying to find a glass on a table. Imagine my hand is the glass. All they would have to do is sweep left and right until it locks on. Once it locks on with that audible beep, they move forward until it gets an alert. Then they can just uh, extend their fingers and there it is. 
with the uh, vibration control set up, it should be completely silent for everyone around them. And uh, I think it's a fantastic project. It's something that I've been working on and kicking around in my brain for a long time. Uh, some of the algorithms for finding things, uh, like the specific edge detection, were rather difficult to come up with. But I think that it's a high-tech solution for today's day and age for helping the blind be able to navigate this world. Uh, operates very similarly to the cane that you'll see many blind people use, only without having to physically contact objects. And that's the biggie. If they're in a place where something is breakable or where people could possibly be offended by being touched by a cane, now they no longer have to worry about it. Please, please donate to this project. I'm hoping to get at least one prototype up and running on this. If I'm able to raise beyond the amount that I'm asking for, I will be making multiple prototypes and uh, donating them to the uh, Jackson School for the Blind up in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much for donating and helping out with this project. I can't tell you how much it means to me and means to my friends. Thank you so much. See you soon.